Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new playlist for Power BI in my YouTube channel. If you are interested to learn about Power BI software, then follow my channel. So today is the first video on Power BI series. So in this video, I will show you how to download and install the Power BI software for desktop. First, we need to go to Google and in Google type download Power BI desktop so once you enter this search so here this is the official link of microsoft so click on this link and once you click on this link you will have the option to download the software so here you can see this is the option which you need to select to download the software on desktop if you download this if you want to download for mobile then you need to install the app from this app stores right so, so for uh, for desktop, you need to select this. Click on this option, Advanced Download Options. So once you click on this, uh, once you click on that option, a new window will open. So here you have the option to select the language, and in the details section you have the option of the files that you can install. So based on the system type, you can install these files. So here you can see the file size for 64 bit is 658 MB and for 32 bit is 603 MB. And here these are the instructions we can, which you can go through. And also these are the system requirements so, and also the installation instructions. So now, so the default language is English. So click on download. And so here you, have, you can see we have two file types. The one is 62, 64 bit and second is 32 bit. So to check if your system is 64 or 32, first you need to go to control panel in your system. So type control panel. So once you go to control panel, there you will find option call system and security. Click on that and click on system. So once you click on system, so here you will find the system type as 64 bit. So my Laptop configuration is 64 bit operating system. So, based on your uh, laptop or desktop operating system, system type, you can select this any of these files. So, in my case, I'm selecting this as the uh, setup, right? So, once, once you select this, you can click on next. So, once you click on next, the download will automatically get started. So, here you can see the download has started now. Now, let us wait till this download gets completed. Now the download has completed. Now you can click on this. So now once you click on this, you need to follow the process and install the software. Now select the language. So it is English. Now click on next. Now you need to click on next to continue the setup wizard. So click on next. Now accept the terms of license agreement and click on next. So select the drive where you want to install the software. So by default, it is selecting C drive. So click on next. So if you want to create a shortcut of this Power BI, uh, Power BI on your desktop, then you can select this option and click on install. Now the installing process is going on. So let us wait for some time until the installation gets completed. So now the setup wizard has completed and the software is successfully installed. Now you can click on this and you can click on finish to launch the software. So here you can see the Power BI software is starting now. So once the Power BI software is opened, so this is the first screen that will be visible for you. So these are the instructions which you can go through on how to use the uh, Power BI and so you can close this and so here you can see this is the interface of Power BI software and in our next videos we will be uh, I will be explaining you about each of this interface and also, also the features that we have in Power BI software. So I hope you liked the installation process of Power BI software. If you have any questions then you can drop them in the comment section and Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.